Hey everybody, Jason Hyde here, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about this bottom floor here of my dungeon skull. So each one of these were printed into, into a section, and there are four sections. So you can kind of see the division if you look down the center line here. That's one section here, and then there's a line here. So that's where these were joined. Now each of these were printed separately and individually, so there are little differences that I don't like that much. For instance, on this side, the detail is at a pretty good level. It's not too deep, not too shallow. But then on these other sides, on both of these, for some reason, it's it seems like it's deeper, at least to my eye. And I haven't measured it with calipers or anything, but I can just tell with my eye that it's off when I look at one side to the other. So how do I fix this? Um, there's a few different ways. But the way that I found that is the fastest is by using baking soda or cocaine as baking soda. So I use the baking soda to, ch to just lightly fill in the cracks in the areas that I don't, that I think are a little too, too deep. And I got to be really careful not to overdo it. Even up here, I want to do just a little bit. Now I've only got a tiny amount in there. And then I'm going to use a brush here really gently and just fill in these areas. And the great thing with the brush is that I can take the brush and if there's too much, I can just kind of brush it out. And if there's too little, I can brush it in. So it's a, it's a really good way to kind of fill some of these areas. that I think are too deep. And then if you have a little too much, you just brush it away into another area. So, all right, now we have some material in there. And obviously I wanna make a mold on this and I'm going to need this to not just be washed away. So how do we do that? Um, I need a little bit more right in there. <clears throat> Overall, I don't want the detail too deep as it is. So if a little bit gets into the other side, it's no big deal. <clears throat> there's a couple of holes here. I don't know how well you can see these little tiny holes on camera, but there's some little holes here. <clears throat> if you guys hear noises, Upstairs, I got my wife and kids up there. I'm in the basement of my house. Okay, I think that's a good start. And now my furnace is going to turn on and fuck my sound. So now that I've got a, a good layer of, um, of baking soda in there, in the, in the crevices that I want, we need to solidify it. So, I like using this Instacure super thin super glue. It's really stinky and I highly suggest you wear a mask when you do this or have it do it in a well ventilated area but this stuff is really awesome. Um, I just do a couple of, let's get this off there. I just do a couple of little drops and the drops leach in and it fills that area. And I'm not wearing a mask, I'm not gonna do this too long. And the super glue just absorbs right in to the baking soda. It's pretty awesome. Kind of hypnotic to watch too. Sort of neat. And if I go too much, which is possible, it will obscure some of the detail. But what I'm going for, that's kind of what I want. I don't want it. I don't want it to be like too in your face. I want it to be subtle. All right. So now I've got a good amount in there. I'm going to just help it along. 
up that way, I don't have to put any more in there. Yeah, try to get the excess to run out. Otherwise, you'll have pools. See, I'm getting it to go into areas that I don't care about too much. I mean, it's a thin, thin layer. So... And for those of you who are curious, um, this symbol or this this image in the center here, this is actually this was actually made by John D. and Edward Kelly back in the 1700s, 1600s. Um, it's an angelic sigil. So John D. was all about trying to get closer to God. So I thought this would be a cool sigil to put on the on the bottom of the church floor. A lot of information on John D. out there for anybody who's interested. He was a super intelligent guy. Was also a ship's navigator for, I believe it was Sir Francis Drake. Supposedly he helped win one of the wars back then. My history's not so awesome, but I do know a little bit about him. Anyway, so all I gotta do is let this dry. Let me get some extra in there. And we'll come back. And then to really see how well I did, I'll have to um, I'll have to put a layer of primer in there to kind of see how deep because it's clear right now. But I think it looks pretty good. You know, we didn't get every single area, but it's more even with the other side, in my opinion, I think. We'll see you later. Okay, so I've primered the piece and let it dry. And now you can see that it's actually a little more obscured on this side, not so deep. I actually like the randomness of it. It makes it look a little more natural. I might actually do this side as well, just a little bit. But even down here not so deep so I think it worked pretty well thanks for watching